Last Sunday morning, during preparation for the Lord's Supper in church, a, a good friend and fellow Christian talked about the need to let go of the tension that this world had been placing upon us and find rest in God, who does not feel the tension and will take hours away if we will let him. Jesus came to this earth to pay the penalty for our sin and remove the tension of worry and fear from off of our shoulders. It was a much needed reminder and a little bit of a rebuke also needed, though not his intent. The lunacy and insanity of this world had climbed on my back and on the back of a lot of my brethren from what I see on Facebook. It just doesn't belong there. Whether on the right or the left of the political spectrum, let's quit thinking we're going to solve the world's problems because it's a broken world and we're not gonna solve his problems through political or social change. Whether right or left, it's a foolish dream to think that we're gonna fix this world. Yet, like Don Quixote, we charge off attacking the windmill, thinking that we're going to save the world. We're not, that's God's job. Let's focus on telling people about him and his power to save the souls of those who will believe and obey. Now, because the unnecessary tension from the unrelenting cycle of bad news was getting to me, and the media has been a constant drumbeat of negativity for a long time now, and it has soared to new heights or sunk to new lows, maybe the best way to describe it, for 2020. Add to that the tension of the daily preparation of these posts, and it has built up in my mind and spirit a tension to the point where rest and relaxation is needed. So, while not nearly as important as salvation, vacations and recreation are important to all of us, especially in times like this. And it's time for me to let go of this world's tension and take some time off. Therefore, this will be the last new video until after July 4th. In the meantime, I urge you to let go of the world's tension and lean on the Lord for true rest. He's the only place you're going to get it. Until next time, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.